If you found out a loved one was terminally ill, would any amount of money make you happy? If you said no, I feel that same way. And in this video, I want to talk about sometimes money is not the solution to your problems. You're the solution to your problem. But you just haven't realized it. And that's why I came on here to make this video today. Because I've been thinking. I'm trying to help people with making more money. But you can't make more money if you're not in the right mindset. You're too bogged down on what's going around you. You're sad, you're depressed. So your mind's not in the framework of, hey, all right, let me get into something that will make me more income. What needs to be fixed is within you. Once you fix you, money will start to come. It's like fix your internal problems before fixing your external problems. Because I can almost guarantee you, if you start making more money, but you still have those internal problems, you're just gonna be sad. And no amount of money will bring you happiness. So that's why it's important to work on yourself before doing anything. Start thinking, what would my future self be doing? What are the actions my future self would be taking? Think in that light first. What Define what happiness is to you. The type of life that you would want to be living. Figure those things out first. And then once you start, or once you have a picture of what that looks like, start embodying that new you. If that new you is 10 pounds lighter, and they got that due to a healthy diet, or they started exercising, then start doing those things. And eventually, you'll become that person. You also have to be very cautious of what you say to yourself. The tongue is like one of the most dangerous things that we have on this earth. You tell yourself something, it will happen. Give it enough time and it will happen. So be very kind to yourself and the things you say to yourself because the more things, whatever it is you say to yourself, that's the deposits you're putting into your mind. If you tell yourself, I can do 100 push-ups every day, you're putting little deposits into yourself to achieve that goal. Mind you, you do have to actually try and do it. You can't just say, I can do 100 push-ups and never did a push-up. You have to practice doing it. So it's one thing to say and it's another thing to put the action behind it. When you put the two of them together, it becomes very powerful. Start with one push-up. One push-up, do one push-up every day for a week. Next week, do two push-ups every day for a week. When you start increasing the load after the action, you will be able to get to doing 100 push-ups a day. But you have to start small and be consistent at it. And just positive reinforcement. The more positivity you put into yourself, the more likely it is for you to see success. So I'm gonna keep this video short today because it just crossed my mind. But if you stop believing in yourself, I'm here to tell you I believe in you. And with that being said, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and see you on the next video.